I'm creating first uh, a virtual machine with uh, no image and it is connected to switch zero, which is the network 10.0.0.1. And uh, uh, 25 gigabyte hard disk uh, yeah. is, is also okay, I think. Mm. And uh, we will make it boot from the network. So yes. the priority one to uh, Ethernet zero. Uh, let's check the configuration. Okay, it is booting from Ethernet zero. It has twenty-five gigabyte. Okay, and we can also see here the hardware address that yes. has been assigned uh, to to the network interface. So we start and uh, we start it and. We will install from the uh, network. <clears throat> so the installation script somehow detects that. Uh, <clears throat> this machine has a hard disk and it selects automatically uh, this uh, profile workstation. Utilizza Squid? Uh, I think so, yes. It uses uh, Squid from uh, the server. And, uh, yeah. I should find some uh, way to uh, to disable uh, Squid. I think uh, I, I've checked some documentation, and uh, uh, I, I saw somewhere uh, where to uh, disable Squid so that it doesn't use uh, Squid. For example. Oh yeah, it it is here. Sorry, I didn't see it before. So this line, uh, mirror HTTP proxy, it defines it the web cache. Uh, can, so I can comment uh, these two lines. And uh, next time that we will install something from internet, uh, we will not. Uh, uh, so uh, when we in install workstation again, another workstation, uh, we are not going to use uh, proxy. So uh, these two lines uh, define yes. uh, define the process. Yes. Okay. Sure. Uh, I think that the proxy was uh, set on the main server as well. Uh, in, in this directory, uh, there was one script uh, which said, oh, it, it is this one. Uh, it is, it is, I found it. So this uh, 03 Debian EDU config, uh, this also sets the proxy, but this is the proxy for uh, the main server. So when mm -hmm. we do apt update and apt upgrade in the main server, it is going to use a, a squid proxy because of these uh, lines. So I'm commenting uh, this as well. And uh, actually, uh, when we uh, finish the installation of the main server, uh, It has a so uh, as a source for packages only this uh, CD-ROM. Uh, yes. It's all from CD-ROM. But mm -hmm. uh, I think that uh, we should uh, change uh, these sources and add some other uh, sources.
Uh, all, even though uh, we are updating uh, the packages in the main server uh, mm -hmm. for the uh, clients, uh, there is a separate image uh, which was built after the main server was installed. And uh, this image is still the old packages, I think. So we are not updating the packages uh, for the clients as well. Mm -hmm. so in order to update the packages for the LTSP clients, uh, we uh, need to regenerate this image that is used for the clients. And uh, this is done with uh, uh, this LTSP uh, Yes, capito. È quello lì, quello che hai dato. I think it is this one. Sì. Update the disk list uh, workstation slash uh, FS image. E tinkly, ecco. And uh, this this one is uh, the same as that one, but also it uh, uh, it updates the image for the thin clients. Thin clients uh, are uh, are the the ones that work with uh, X to go. Or... So we add this uh, this option as as well. As well. Uh, thin type bare. The workstation is finished. Installed, yes. Now I, I will change the boot order of uh, this virtual machine so that it doesn't boot from network. And uh, for this, I need to remove the boot priority from uh, the network interface. Now the configuration does not have a boot priority and uh, it should uh, use the default uh, booting order, which uh, means that it, it should start booting from the, from the disk. Start it again. And it will boot from, from the disk. Uh, if I try, for example, to log in with uh, user one, uh, which is defined in the, the server, it will fail. Uh, I can log in only as root at this moment. Yes. Uh, I don't know what this uh, ticket is about. Anyway, uh, if I give the root password, uh, the server root password, uh, it gets a ticket. Now, uh, we need to add this uh, workstation in the configuration of the server. But uh, first, let, let's find out what is the, uh, the MAC address of, of this uh, machine. It, it is uh, this one. Yes. But uh, I would like to run this command from the terminal so that I can copy and paste, because here I cannot copy and paste. Uh, from from the client to the server. So let me install the LXD uh, agent as well.
now uh, I go inside the server. And uh, the command that uh, I should run is site summary to LDAP DCP. And the, the options are add and Uh, now it is asking for the root password. And let's start the uh, the console of the or let's access the console of the server. And we go to the Goza interface. Login as the first user. Uh, go to the systems, and we see that uh, the command that we used uh, last time uh, is edit the workstation in the list of the systems. Uh, we can edit the system and uh, change the the host name. We can tr uh, change also the IP. Uh, also, we can uh, change it manually, for example, starting from 100. So all the workstations start 101, 102, and, and so on. And uh, enable DHCP for this device. Uh, enable enable uh, DNS. Again, full screen. Uh, Apply and OK. And here is the. Yeah. Now we have to uh, reboot the workstation and uh, check again whether we can log in. We test again with user one. And still, we cannot log in. And, uh, it is because we also need to uh, run this command on the server. Uh, no, sorry, on the workstation. Yes. It's not possible to paste here. No, uh, I'm sure. From, I will read from the, from the command line. Uh, 
So I'm running this command inside the uh, workstation, inside the workstation. Huh? It asks for the password of root. The server. In the server. So this is the root of the server. Yes. Okay. And uh, let me try to log out and log in again, or maybe I should uh, reboot. But first, let, mm. let's start with log out. So uh, we just need to reboot. Uh, just the log out does not does not work. Done. I will use the one. And this time it works. And we see that uh, it gets the host name from Gosa and the IP is uh, also the one that we uh, set on Gosa. It's a fixed IP. And uh, the home directory actually is mounted from the server. This is uh, on the server. Uh, it, it is mounted to the home directory of the user that we logged in. Uh, <clears throat> now, maybe we can try to uh, install, uh, uh, to test the uh, roaming uh, workstation. <clears throat> so the idea of uh, roaming workstation uh, is that uh, we can move it at home and it should still uh, be able to log in. So once we log in, uh, in at school, then it will cache, uh, I think, the credential, credentials, and we should be able to log in uh, at home as well. So if it is connected to a different network from the network of, of school. So let me shut down this one. And for uh, testing uh, roaming workstation, we uh, are installing a roaming workstation. We have to follow the same steps uh, almost. Uh, and during installation, we uh, use the, the other profile, the profile roaming uh, workstation. So let me uh, create another workstation. So I'm going to select wrong workstation and unselect workstation.
Fabio, can we try to uh, add some users uh, using a CSV file? So uh, let's try to import. And actually, it is uh, also possible to select uh, yes. another field. So uh, yes. we, we can also use uh, a different order. For example, uh, the last name can be here. Or this can this can be the the last name, for example, and this can be mm. the first name. But in this case, this is the first name, and this is the oh, okay. I think this is the first name. Give a name. I will know. Uh, this is the surname. Oh, yes. Last, last name. Okay. Cioè, non importa l'ordine con cui te inserisci eh, diciamo, i parametri perché le puoi, se le, le inserisci nel modo giusto le puoi cambiare eh, con questo schema sì, sì, esatto import mm -hmm. Okay, it says that they are important. Scusa. Student. Oh, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, ah. so we oh, have all, ottimo. all the teachers here. And uh, let's see the details of uh, one of these accounts. Mm -hmm. So the, the home mm. theater is going to be yeah. in this. Mm. Okay, we can try uh, one of these to log in. Mm -hmm. Facciamo un login per vedere. Uh, yeah, let's, che let's funziona. Make a Let's make a login on the server first, and then uh, we can try it Anche on the nella workstation. Sì. Sì. I forgot. Ah, nemmeno io mi ricordo. T, uh, T1. Uh, T2, T2. Yes, it was. Yes. And, uh, there, there was a more complex uh, scenario about uh, adding uh, mm. student accounts. Uh, let me try to find it in the docs. Uh, it was explained somewhere, somewhere in the docs, and uh, we, we can try to do this one as well. First, what's going on here? So uh, mm. this is an example which uh, shows how to mm. create uh, users in. Uh, in, in your group. Mm. So the users that are supposed to graduate or to finish the school in this year, uh, we uh, create all their accounts in this uh, directory. Yeah. And also we are going to uh, do a CSV import for, for all these uh, user accounts. <clears throat> 
So first of all, we need uh, to make the uh, the directory for for, for these accounts. Uh, I I will uh, I'm going to use uh, 26 for example, not uh, 24 as in this account. So we we run this on the on the main server. Ah, uh, make it a directory. <laughs> So uh, all the uh, students that uh, are expected to finish in this year will go in this uh, directory, uh, their home uh, directories, their accounts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then in GOSA, uh, we go to the directory structure in the department section. Choose. Mm -hmm. From the Dropbox, I've chosen. Uh, create and then uh, department. Yes, 2026. And... Is students, so it will be uh, students. Mm. Uh, uh, 2026 manager manager che sarebbe secondo te chi okay. gestisce il tutto maybe we should uh, leave it empty no. uh, mm. uh, let, let's, let's see the instructions here and ju just press ok ok So the other things no. are optional. And uh, mm -hmm. now we have this kind of uh, division. Uh, under students, we have this, uh, uh, this uh, division, 2026. 20, 20, uh, the steps are, are that we should create another uh, group uh, from, uh, from the groups menu, from the main menu, we go to actions, create group, and then uh, the the base uh, should be this one and we uh, cre create a new group for these students so we go to groups and then uh, we select this one i'm not sure this one or... Yes, uh, the base should be this one. So uh, the base is this one here. Mm. And then actions, create, create group. Uh, group name. Student. Uh, or may, maybe students 2023. Uh. The base is this one, okay. And then I guess we should just Okay. And then a uh, template. Uh, there are two uh, templates uh, predefined uh, in uh, Goza. One is for students, one is for teachers. Uh, but we can create uh, another template for a group of students uh, because the template uh, describes uh, what is going to be the home directory of the new account, uh, what are going to be the permissions, and so on. So uh, if uh, we want to handle a group of uh, accounts uh, differently, then we should create a new template. And then when we import a CSV file, then we select the new template that, that we created. And then 
we click to this template in, in order to see what are the entries and then uh, we change to this base field and then uh, choose create template so we are now just editing an existing template we should create a new one uh, and set this uh, these values so uh, we are uh, we are opening this one just to see what are uh, some values that we can use for example the the path so i'm going to cancel this one and then go to this uh, base, and then on the actions, on the actions, create uh, a new template. And then template name. New students. Uh, now I'm creating a new template. Uh, before we were just adding an existing uh, template, and uh, base is okay. Uh, I, I don't think uh, we had something else here, but uh, here at POSIX account, at POSIX settings, uh, this is the place, uh, the directory where the home uh, accounts uh, are saved for this group. And then primary group is this one. And I think, I'm not sure. About, add. Uh, we add. Quello. Che add, vedi? In fondo. Yes. Ok. Mm. Group membership. Actually, this is the default membership. Uh, the default group. Uh, mm. So, mm. I'm not sure whether, but it's ok. But we can add some other groups as well, if uh, they need to be in... Okay, eh, non ci sono, no. perché sì. non ci sono. Sì. There are no, option, no other options. Uh, I think this, this is okay. Let, let's try with this first. So we, we have created this new template. And now uh, when we uh, import new user accounts, new uh, student accounts, we can select this template and then the, they are going to, uh, to to have the group and the other, uh, the home directory, etc. that, that we, select, we selected mm -hmm. in the template. Uh, so, mm -hmm. let, let's try to uh, import a group of users. CSV import, uh, find file to import, users.csv, open, uh, select template. Now we have this new template that we created, mm -hmm. and then import. And let's say this is the first name and this is the last name. And just import. importati ah, sì. and uh, we have to go to this uh, base in order to see the new uh, uh, the new account. <coughs> the new accounts that we created are in, in this base students uh, 2026 uh, but how can we change for example uh, let, let's say that uh, we have uh, this is a student account for, uh, uh, yeah. For example, mm. how can we move it to the student uh, ah, section? Sí. Or ju just edit it and uh, change something. Uh, edit, the... no, quello cancella. Codesto. Vediamo un po'. Adesso, uh, okay. uh, we change the base here, okay. So we change sí. the base and say uh, this is uh, no. actually a student. Uh, is, is this? And uh, now no, it should, no, uh, no. and maybe we change uh, the group as well, uh, primary group. 
Uh, eh, eccolo qui è forse students. primary group students and uh, we should remove the group uh, teachers from this account because it was created when we so uh, if uh, we go to root uh, we go to students there is no account except the one that we moved from the teacher to, to here but in this in this group in this base there are students so we created students but we created in this uh, uh, sub directory to say how to say and also if we check in the server uh, so uh, if we, we change in the server So uh, all the accounts of the students that we created uh, are in this uh, in this directory, and also and also they belong to uh, to this group. So if uh, we want to add permissions to all of these students, then we can use this group uh, to target all of them. For example, all the students in this uh, group can access a certain uh, directory. For example, okay, uh, the second work session is uh, finished. Uh, let's let's try to. Let me uh, install Alex uh, the agent. Uh, then from the server. But uh, we need the MAC address for the new client. This, uh, this one. Go to the systems. Oh, uh, we have to change the base here. Okay, and uh, this is the new station. I change the name. And then uh, Change the IP. Enable this. Enable DNS. And then okay. And on the workstation, we should run. Uh, 
יש דרם ויסקומה. But, uh, wait, he didn't get the new name. Let, let's shut it down again. Okay. Still, uh, I think he does not get it from the this route. We have to change it manually. Non funziona. Non funziona. No. There was something here about the DNS update or there was a command in the server. Right? Okay. Uh... So LDAP to bind. Uh, this is mm. executed automatically. Maybe we should uh, run this one uh, as well on the server. Because maybe this uh, updates the bind. Uh, ah, the see, DNS. DNS. And uh, le let's reboot the. I, I will try as a student as well for logging as a student. Funciona, sì. Funciona. Sì. Uh, now, uh, what is uh, different between remote workstation and workstation is that we can use it in a uh, a network different from the network of school. For example, we can use it at home and uh, still we should be able to log in because it says that it is caching uh, something, uh, the credentials or something. So I'm going to shut down this uh, 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 this virtual machine, or say the second workstation. And I will change the network configuration so that it is not connected to the main server this time, but uh, connected so somewhere else. And then uh, I will uh, start it up again and see whether it works or not. Uh, so, uh, running the station is seen at the station, but uh, it is able to uh, authenticate using cached credentials, meaning it can be used uh, outside the school network. The user's files and profiles are, are stored 
on the local disk for single user. <laughs> okay, so I, I will change the network of the second workstation and see whether we can still log in with uh, uh, a user account. Uh, now, how do I uh, change the network? So uh, this uh, network interface is connected to the switch uh, zero. Uh, I will connect. I'm going to connect it to another network. For example, for example, I'm going to connect it to this uh, network. Okay, now it is connected to, to yes. another network. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the other one. Yes, it works. Funciona. Uh, I'll try the student, the student account as well. Uh, let me try with uh, another uh, student account that we did not use before. So uh, it works with uh, this account because we have uh, used this account uh, at the school network. So at the school network, uh, we used this account and we, uh, it, it uh, cached the credentials for this account. But we have not used uh, this account in the school network. So uh, if we try to log in uh, at another network with this account, uh, it doesn't work. So uh, these credentials are, are not uh, cached. So it, it is caching the credentials uh, when we log in. So we, when we use an account to log in, it, cache, it caches uh, uh, the credentials for this account. Uh, but it, it, okay. No, I've visto, this doesn't function. Student 2 is okay. in cache. It's in the cache, maybe. Sì, mm. è nella cache uh, del, uh, del browser del workstation 2, yeah, del workstation mm. 2. Mm. ma uh, questo non è le, nella cache del cache. Uh, uh, workstation 2. Mm. Uh, but uh, I think this is okay. Uh, this is uh, how it should work. So uh, if you use a laptop, for example, you use it at school, you log in, and then when you go at home, you use the same account uh, at home to log in. So uh, uh, it is okay. You don't use another account from home, for example. So, uh, so it is working. I think it is okay. This profile ro roaming workstation is for sì. a laptop. Is for a laptop. Sì. Uh, ro sì, roaming sì. 
means that you take it at home, for example, and you bring uh -huh. it at school. So uh, it is your it is your laptop. You uh, log in with your account. So there is only one account uh, that, or maybe two, or maybe three. You you can have two or three accounts. But uh, uh -huh. once once you use it uh, this account at school, then you can also use it at home uh, to to log in. Uh, ju just one thing uh, to check uh, about the home directory. So, SP. I I did not check the home directory. So uh, when we are at home, we use uh, this uh, this home directory. I, I'm not sure uh, which home directory is used uh, when we are at, at school network uh, because usually a workstation uh, uses account. Uh, the home directory is on the server, but here it is a local uh, home account. Mm -hmm. So uh, we logged in as user one in this workstation, and then we logged in as uh, user two. And so it, uh, mm -hmm. it, is, uh, it has created these two accounts as local uh, user accounts. And so uh, at home, we can also use these two accounts to, to log in. Mm -hmm. uh, but if, uh, if we go back to school network, uh, is it going to use the local account again, or it is going to use the uh, account on the server? Because this student, uh, this student has, has an account on the server as well. So uh, let, let's uh, change the network configuration and switch it back to the school network. So uh, I'm connecting again on the school uh, network. And uh, if uh, we log in in the school network, which uh, account is used, the local one or the ser or the account on the server? Mm But is uh, still using the the local account, so uh, this is not very good for the students, I think. Or may maybe it's okay since uh, uh, only one student is uh, using this laptop, for example, or only one teacher is using this laptop, so it is okay. <laughs> 